Hey guys, welcome to Chris Lively English. I'm Chris Lively, and this is the first video of a series of videos that I plan to do to cover some topics in English I think you will find useful. Um, the first topic I wanted to cover today is one that a lot of students, a lot of my students ask me about, okay? It's the T sound in English because you guys know English is crazy, right? I know. Uh, sometimes the T does not sound like a T, it sounds like a D. Um, and I'm going to tell you today about some patterns you, you should know to help you to, to know when to make the T sound a D and when not to. So notice this list of words here on the left. Notice the D sound. Maybe you can say them to yourself, repeat them after me to yourself. Water, little, creative, photo, photograph. You notice the D sound? And notice in British English, they would say the T sound, water, little. But this is an American English style. In these words, we pronounce this T as a D, water, little. Now, repeat these words to yourself after me and notice the T sound that is pronounced. Tall, hotel, interest, intelligent, photography. Notice very similar words, but this one, the T sound, photography, the D sound, photograph. Well, why is that the case? Well, in order for the T to sound like a D, some things must be present. The first, it's before and after the T, you must have a vowel dominant sound. A vowel or a vowel dominant sound. A, er, water. I, ul, little. Now, L is not a vowel, it's a consonant, but ul makes a, cons a vowel dominant sound. Creative, you have A and I, and then, of course, O. Now, the other thing that must be present is the stress on the word cannot be the T syllable. So, water, the stress is before the T, so we would make it a D. Little, stress, again, before the T, make it a D. Creative, this is not stressed, so we make it a D. And then, photo and photograph, the stress is not the T syllable, so we can make it a D. Now, notice the words with the T sound, why they maintain the T sound. Well, of course, a word like tall, any word that begins with T, the T is very important. We're going to say the T, tall. Hotel, well, we have O and L, some vowel dominant sounds, but where's the stress on the word? Hotel on number two. So when the syllable, the T syllable is stressed, you, of course, want to say the T. You don't want to make it a D. Interest. Interest. Well, this is a consonant pair. In T, this is not a vowel dominant sound. So we do not ever want to make the T a D in this situation. Same thing here. Intelligent. Two reasons why this is not a D. The N, T, and this is stressed. Intelligent. And photography. Photography, where is the stress? Well, it's on the T syllable, photography, so we want to keep the T. And here are two words that have both a T and a D sound to give you more of an idea. Creativity. Creativity. Do you hear the T and the D? Creativity. D sound T. You have vowel sound on both sides of the T, and the T is not stressed. You make it a D. You have a vowel sound on both sides, but... The T syllable is stressed, so you want to keep the T. Creativity. Introverted. Introverted. We have a T sound here, but we also have an N and an R. The T is buried between two consonant dominant sounds, so we can't make it a D. Stress is here. This T before is er, vowel dominant, and after E, vowel dominant, and it's not stressed, so we want to make it a D. Introverted. So again, just to summarize some things I've already said, you don't make the D sound when the T is part of a consonant pair. For example, NT or TR or ST. And number two, when the syllable beginning with T is stressed, as in hotel, you want to keep the T sound. 
So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you found this useful. Please stay tuned. I plan to do some similar videos as well as some other videos here in the very near future. Thank you very much.